what pursued me to do do the CND certification was the fact that I wanted to add a well-known organization to the list of certifications I have had already. And EC Council, when people hear EC Council, they know that the exams are harder. They know that you you can't fake your answers. That you you have to know what you're doing and know what the material is in order to pass the exam. The Certified Network Defender exam um, certification actually brought a lot more attention to my resume um, as far as job interviews were concerned, as far as promotions. When I got my CND, I received a promotion to level two engineer and um, was pretty much a point person for any network security issue that arise for our clients. The CND complemented my Cisco certifications and added a extra layer of knowledge to hardening network switches and devices for our clients. It's really kind of hard to say one specific area. I think the CND in general provides a good background of it provides a better understanding on how to harden network security devices and contributing to my professional development. It has inspired me to go after my uh, certified ethical hacker. The CND has helped me have a better understanding of hardening network devices, firewalls, network switches, um, routers, and how it's benefited it how it's benefited my customers and how it's benefited my organization is that I, when setting it up in the office, I'm already have the mindset to harden that network device before implementing it. And then once I implement it at the physical site, I have saved a lot of time by implement, uh, doing the implementation early. The Certified Network Defender um, how it compares to other certifications. It gives you a very good understanding of network security and how to harden network devices and preventing intrusions. A lot of the other certifications out there, um, they give you a very generic understanding of it and it's very small. Um, so the CND very much has value in giving you that in-depth in-depth knowledge on network security. Yes, I, I do currently have my Network Plus and my CCNA and currently working on the CCNP. How the CND differs is that CND goes in-depth into network security as to where CCNA, CCNP um, and the Network Plus only give you a very general um, overview of network security as to where CND goes in depth and dives deep into those network security concepts. In cybersecurity or the IT industry? I think it is very valuable. The CND helped me obtain my CEH, uh, which overall was a difficult exam, but a lot of my questions I felt were, um, from the CND side helped me prepare for questions on the CEH exam. I do feel that there is a need for it in today's DNA. Um, network security is a very um, complex subject and the CND does break it down into understandable concepts. I overview i started off at help desk i obtained certifications got promotions it wasn't really until i started getting my security plus and my certified network defender that i started to be noticed in the cybersecurity realm it definitely does help to have the cnd certification to progress into cybersecurity that also will help you later on get other certifications such as as i said uh, ceh and other 
certifications that are out there. I, I definitely would recommend the CND. Um, it is a great certification to get first before obtaining higher end cybersecurity certifications. It's definitely one I feel it's obtainable. Um, unlike certain other certifications where they may take you know longer time to get or you have to submit a, a resume, uh, the CND is obtainable. Uh, for anybody starting off in cybersecurity. And it's definitely recommended to give you that deep dive into network security concepts.